today at work I got very bored and I decided to make a list of some of my dieting tips. Um, these are things that I have done since January for my New Year's resolution. Um, in my last video I kind of mentioned what I've been doing and I haven't stepped on the scale because I'm scared to. Um, here are some of my tips and you can try them if you want. Um, the best thing always, of course, is to consult your physician and get your heart rate and all that good stuff checked, but I don't do that because I don't have enough money for that right now. But, um, my first one, these are in no particular order, but the main one is to stop drinking soda, including diet, and stop eating fast food. I think that is the downfall for most people just because fast food is there, it's convenient and fast, and... With the way prices in this country are going, um, usually it's cheaper to buy a fast, feel, fast food meal instead of going to the grocery store and buying the ingredients to make a nice meal because it's so expensive. Um, my next tip is to move as much as possible, even if you're just going to go to Target. Park farthest away from the door at the end of the row and walk to the door. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but it, it'll add up and you'll feel so much better when you walk a lot. And walking has tons of health benefits, so, um, like preventing heart disease. So, if you don't want to do it alone, try and get a buddy. And I don't shop alone anyways, so I always have someone there. And whenever they complain about walking so far, I'm like, hey, I'm helping your heart. Stop, stop complaining. <laughs> um, my next one is to drink water. Water for me is really plain. I actually just had a chicken taco, and I'm trying to drink this water. I'm probably going to drink it even more when I work out, but, um, if you don't like water at all, like me, I know that sounds dumb, but it's just so plain. I usually get strawberry kiwi propel, the diet green tea mixed berry, or you can also buy, like, the crystal light flavor packets, and, um, I love Walmart, and Walmart has all those if you ever go to Walmart. Um... Five below, I don't know where all of you guys are from, but in Virginia, we have five below everywhere. They're popping up left and right. They are definitely one of my top favorite stores. And they have um, low price exercise equipment like um, yoga mats, exercise balls, little, you know, easy tone weights. And they have the yoga exercise ball um, books and stuff. And everything in the store is under $5, so if you're on a budget like I am and you don't want to spend a lot going to the gym or buying a lot of fitness equipment that's expensive, I definitely recommend that you go to 5 Below. Um, my next tip is to get a workout buddy. Exercising is a lot more fun when you're not alone, just so, you know, if you're grunting and making weird noises and stuff, you're not, like, awkward and weird. If you have a friend with you, you can get into it and you're just like, oh yeah, work it, you know? Um, I do a lot of things alone. Exercising is one of them. I don't make those noises though, <laughs> but if I'm with my friends, I usually, you know, try to push them harder, push myself harder too, and I try to push us to our limits that we get the best workout that we can. Um, the next one is try not to weigh yourself all the time. I know when I first started dieting in January, I was weighing myself like every other day because I wanted to see results so bad because I had just changed my eating habits and stuff. Don't do that. Don't weigh yourself every day or every other day. I don't even weigh myself once a week. I weigh myself maybe once every two, maybe just once a month. Um, but if you feel like you have a lot of results within the first week and you want to weigh yourself every week, you go ahead. With my schedule... I don't have time to work out and get better results like I want, so I don't weigh myself as much. My next one is to watch your carbs. Try substituting like hamburger buns and hot dog buns and stuff with lettuce leaves. I know, <laughs> I know I'm not a rabbit, but I love lettuce. I love salads. I love anything that has lettuce leaves, and um, I wrap tuna salad up in lettuce and usually I use like parmesan cheese or um, provolone and I just instead of a sandwich it's a lettuce wrap I guess and it's pretty good if you add pepper and all that good stuff 
Um, next one is, I don't know if you're a snacker. I, I could eat all day if I wanted to. Um, and one of my very favorite snacks is popcorn. And I started buying the kennels and popping it on the stove. And, um, I don't have an air popper because air poppers make it taste really weird. So, I just pop the kernels in a pan on the stove. And, um, I heard that it's low calorie, so I eat a couple handfuls. I make big bags of it. Like, the freezer Ziploc baggies, and I make big bags. And I just eat a couple handfuls, and then I'm done. And I take it to work with me during the week and stuff. And I also heard a new study that popcorn has antioxidants in it now. So, I feel really good about eating it now. <laughs> But I'm not going to go overboard with it. Um, my next tip is to make sure that your exercise routine is fun. It's not plain and boring. You should want to work out and be excited. Like, yes, I'm working out today. Not, oh my gosh, i got to go to the gym. Like, you should be like, yes, I can't wait to go to the gym, get my cardio, my weightlifting in. I know that I should kick that up. Riding my elliptical, I know, isn't the best workout, but it's something. And with my schedule, um, I try to use it as much as possible. Um, my next tip is um, rec center cards are a good thing because where I live, they're yearly. And I can go to any rec center in my area. There, I think there's like five or six or something. And um, they're good for you if you don't have a pool or a weight room or slash gym in your house you can always buy a rec center pass and go according to your schedule most of the ones in my area are open until like nine during the week and like five or six on the weekends so that works out with my schedule pretty well when i don't have school um the next one if you do have like an exercise bike treadmill elliptical like i do try and ride it for at least 20 minutes once i start breaking a sweat i actually want to go more but I'm so tired, I'm just like, oh, I don't think I can do it. But I do, and I make it through. Because I know that I want a nice body for summer. Um, my next tip slash, I don't know, try not to take diet pill supplements. In my anatomy class, this guy told us that once you start taking them, they're kind of, I guess, like a drug. Your body gets used to that amount that you've been taking, and you have to take more, just get the same results as you did when you first started with a lower amount, if that makes sense. He said they're really not that effective, and they're kind of bad for you, so I was like, oh, okay. Because, <laughs> I mean, I see the commercials all the time, you know, but I never thought of doing those. I have to work for the body that I want, unfortunately, and it's so hard to lose weight as opposed to putting it on. Uh, fruit and veggies. They're delicious and good for you. I would always choose fruits and veggies as a snack as opposed to chips and dip or, like, cookies and cake. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and, I mean, they make salad dressings and stuff you could dip your veggies in that are light, low-fat, no-carb. They have all kinds out there. So, I would just look at what you like and get it. And my next tip, if you have trouble tracking what you eat when you exercise and your calories and all of that, MyFitnessPal.com is a really great website. I use that website daily. They have a database of food and exercises. And you can type in anything, and it pops up and tells you how many carbs, fat, saturated fats, vitamins, everything is in it. And it calculates everything for you. And I recommend that if you have any, um, any trouble tracking your progress. I would definitely use that website. And they have new apps out for, like, iPhones and Androids, so if you want to use one of those, that's fine. Um, if you have time and you like to move when you're exercising like I do, I don't like staying in one place. That's why it's so hard for me to ride my elliptical. I would do Zumba. I used to do that before I started college with my mom, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights. I loved it. It's for an hour, and you move constantly. You're just dancing and shaking your ass, and you just feel great. Even if you can't dance, you still do it and you feel great. And I really wish I didn't have school every night because I would totally start it back again. Um, those are pretty much my tips. Uh, these are foods that I love and I try to eat them as much as possible. Um, strawberries, bananas, oranges, green grapes, tomatoes, low-fat yogurt, especially in the morning because I'm not a big breakfast eater. 
if I want to eat breakfast, I will grab the low-fat yogurt. Uh, tuna salad with light or no-fat mayonnaise, of course, or no mayonnaise at all if you really want to go that plain Jane. Romaine lettuce leaves, you can wrap the tuna up in it, or like low-fat ham if they have it, or low-sodium ham. Um, I make my own salads, you know, you can buy the bagged lettuce and just throw in your own concoction of like raisins, olives, carrots, anything you can imagine. And always get like a light or no fat dressing of course. Um, and creamy dressings are usually the ones that have the most fat and calories and stuff so try and get like a light vinaigrette or like light zesty Italian which is what I always use. Uh, wheat pasta noodles, if you're a pasta eater, I love noodles. I'll eat anything with noodles. <laughs> Um, I need to kick that up. I need to start eating way more wheat. And sometimes, before I work out or after, I eat an egg white sandwich with cheese. Just regular American cheese. And I toast my bread. And it's really good. Um, animal crackers. My mom goes to the dollar store and gets the big bag of animal crackers for a dollar. And we read the bag the other day, and there's actually not that many calories in them if you go by the handful. So, they're a low-calorie snack if you like cookies. And kids love them too, so I would definitely recommend those. Um, here's some drinks that I like. I like water, of course. I have to start drinking water. And the Propel Strawberry Kiwi Sweet Tea is my big thing. I've started, I used to drink Arizona all kinds, all the time. But I noticed how many calories and sugars and stuff. So now I drink the Gold, Pe Gold Tea Sweet Tea. Gold Peak Sweet Tea. And it's really good. It has 190 calories in it. And, um, yeah, it's really good. And I would recommend that if you're a sweet tea drinker. And, um, here's some foods that I love that I will, I refuse to give these up. Even though I'm eating healthier and I'm on a diet or whatever I call it. I refuse to give up pizza. Blazing California Rolls, which is sushi, for those of you who don't know. Cupcakes. I'm obsessed with cupcakes for some reason. They're cute. I have a calendar of cupcakes, I have a piggy bank, like I just have cupcakes everywhere and I think they're so cute and I love baking them and decorating them. If I make a batch, I will have one and the next day if I go to lunch, if I have work, I will take one for my lunch but I normally don't eat the whole batch like I used to because <laughs> they are so good. And um, cookies, especially around the holidays, people like to make Christmas cookies and stuff like that. <sighs> Maybe one or two. I don't eat like five like I used to. I've cut back a lot. I'm actually really proud of myself. And doing little changes like this, I know it's not going to seem much, but it's worth it. I know it'll be worth it. And with my schedule, I'm doing really well. You think with me being so stressed out with work and school, I'd be eating like a, I'd be as big as a house. But I'm not, and I'm trying to control it because I've always been an emotional eater. So I hope my tips help. And if you guys have any questions or comments, you know you can leave them, and I will get back to you. And I hope everyone succeeds their dieting goals, and I might do a weigh-in soon, I'm not sure. I'm not feeling too good about it, because I haven't been exercising a lot. But I'm about to exercise right now, so have a great night.